Hi everyone and welcome to codingjust.com. Guys, in this Flutter tutorial, I will show you how you can connect your Flutter application or your Flutter project with Firebase. So first of all, you need to create a new Flutter project. As you can see here, I have already created a new project and then we will create a Firebase project. So to create a Firebase project, we will open up our browser and we will search for Firebase console. Firebase console. And make sure you are logged in with your email ID okay and just simply click on this firebase console here we will uh, create a new firebase project so click on create a project we will name it flutter firebase series okay and click on continue enable Google Analytics for this project and continue select the default account and create project okay guys click on continue our project is created and now we will add our android uh, module here android application here and ios application here but uh, let me tell you one thing if you are using mac uh, macbook or mac os so you can add the ios application here but uh, if you are using windows so you cannot add the ios application here because for that we need the xcode and xcode uh, we can only run xcode on our mac os so if you are using windows so you can add only android application here so first of all we will do it for android application so click on this android and here uh, we need to uh, enter a package name so open up your uh, project flutter project and go to android module inside the android uh, module uh, open application app directory and here as you can see here build.gradle open this file and scroll a little bit down and as you can see here this is our application id okay and this is our package name so we will just simply copy it from here we will go back to the browser paste it here and here uh, if you want to add a name to your application so i will just simply name it flutter firebase sorry firebase android okay and click on register app okay and now we need to download this file this google service file and we need to add it in inside our uh, android module inside the app uh, directory as you can see here in the uh, screenshot so simply click on this download it will download this uh, configuration file and we will find find it in our folders and as you can see here here it is i will simply drag it from here and i will paste it uh, here in this app module okay so i will paste it here like this and as you can see here our uh, google services file is added inside this app directory okay so now we will close this and we will go back to browser click on next and now you need to add this class path in your gradle.build but not the app level gradle this this will be added in the project level gradle file so here it is uh, we will simply close this app directory from here and you and when you open the android module here so you can find this build.gradle uh, project level file so simply uh, paste that class path here okay you will paste it here save it and we will close it now we will open up our browser again and we need to add uh, this plugin so simply copy it and now we will open the app level gradle file so go back to app directory open the build.gradle and here as you can see here we have uh, plugins here so here, below this paste that plugin and now we need to add these two dependencies so copy the first one and scroll down and here as you can see here the dependencies paste it here we will also add another one here okay so simply copy it from here add it here i will simply save it so our project or our firebase our android application is added in firebase so click on next continue to console and as you can see here our application is added here so this is our android application now we will add the ios application but for ios application we need to run the xcode so if you are using windows so you you cannot run the xcode in windows and if you are using mac so uh, go to your project and right click on this ios module as you can see here below this android and open it in xcode so it will open it in uh, xcode this ios module
Okay guys, as you can see here, our Xcode is open and this is our iOS module. Just simply click on this runner on the top and we will copy this bundle identifier from here. This is also a package name for our iOS app. So go back to your browser, click on this plus icon, add app and now select the iOS one. And here add this uh, bundle ID and we will name it Flutter Firebase iOS iOS okay and we will click on register app and now here we need to download this Google service file for our iOS so simply click on download and we will open it in our folders our files so here it is and I will open my Xcode and we need to add this file inside this runner okay so as you can see here where the info info.plist file is located so what we will do we will just simply okay uh, I will add it here so this is our file I will just drag it from here and I will drop it here so and make sure uh, to check this box copy items if needed okay so it is already checked if uh, in your version is it is not checked so please make sure you are uh, you you check this uh, copy items if needed okay so click on finish and now our google service file is added and i will just simply close the x code okay and what we will do we will just finish this setup click on next and from here just simply click next next and here we don't need to add any dependency so as you can see here our iOS application is uh, also added in our Firebase so our Firebase is connected with our Flutter project and now we will check so I will just simply uh, run this for Android okay I will run it from here run start debugging and you don't have any extension for debugging we should we find a way okay I'll just simply close it Okay, we will open this main or not. Okay, so we will we can start debugging now. Okay, so our app will be launching. Okay, uh, we got some issues here, and this says uh, manifest module fail uses SDK minimum SDK button 16. Okay, so if you got this error, don't worry we will fix it now just simply open your android module go to app directory on and open build.gradle and scroll a little bit down where you can see the minimum sdk version here it is so we need to change it to 21. Uh, flutter says that it, uh, it it should be minimum to 19 but we will uh, set it to 21 okay and save it and we will uh, run this uh, main dot dot file again Go to run, start debugging. Okay guys, so as you can see here, our app is successfully launched on an, our Android device. And if I click on this button, so it is working. And it means that our Android app or our Android uh, module is connected to Firebase successfully. Now I will just simply uh, close it from here. Okay, and now we will run our application for uh, for iOS. Okay, so let me disconnect my Android device, and here it is. Here is our iOS simulator, and we will just simply go to run, and we will start debugging, and it will run our application on iOS module also. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, main or dot on iPhone 13 and debug mode. Okay. Here it is okay guys so our application is launched successfully on ios 2 so it means that our firebase connection is successful with our flutter application so that's how we can connect our flutter application with the firebase uh, for both android and ios and if you like this video please share this video with your friends and if you are new to my channel so make sure you are subscribed to my channel and turn on the bell notification option so you won't miss the upcoming videos